or this is another depiction. We have pipe and we put core inside the, the pipe with area of A. So we can call it the A, area of the flow, okay? And flow rate Q, and we can measure the pressure difference, delta P, from P1, input pressure, and P2, output pressure. And again, the correlation is this. And we can arrange the mathematical formulation so we can get the permeability here. So permeability is the flow rate multiplied by viscosity, multiplied by the length of the core, divided by the area of the flow, okay, cross-sectional area of the pipe, multiplied by pressure def difference. So that's, that's K, permeability. So this is quite simple, okay, quite simple permeability of this core, of this rock. We measure it in the lab, but of course, in reality, the permeability that influence the reservoir performance is the permeability average throughout this reservoir zone. So in this case, in laboratory, we have flow rate from the right to the left, but here we have flow rate of the field. We have the flow rate and this flow pass through this reservoir. Okay, so the dimension is huge in the real reservoir. Okay, but the definition is this is still the same. Permeability of a rock or permeability of the whole reservoir is the ability of the rock or the reservoir to enable fluid to flow through it, to flow through the rock to flow through the reservoir. If you have high flow rate, you will, if you have high permeability, you can get high flow rate. If you have low permeability, you will have low flow rate. Kalau permeability kita tinggi, okay, aliran bisa lancar, aliran bisa deras, tapi kalau permeability rendah, aliran bisa mampet, bisa sangat kecil, seperti itu. Okay. Factors determining permeability, there are many factors. Pore size, of course, pore size distribution, grain size, grain size distribution, the shape of the grain, cementation, and compaction, which is function of pressure. Okay, so factors determining porosity, many factors are also determining permeability. Okay, so you can go back to the porosity chapter and you can see how pore size and pore size distribution and the grain size will influence the porosity. And in more or less the same way, these factors also determine the permeability. Okay, so jadi inilah faktor-faktor yang mempengaruhi permeability akan besar atau kecil. How to measure the permeability. Of course, using core, we can perform experiment in the lab, we can conduct run flow tests, and then we can solve Darcy's law to obtain absolute permeability, like the experimentation that was carried out by Mr. Darcy. Okay, this is permeability from the core, but from engineering point of view, we can also get permeability from well testing. We, we do that on the field. We will measure the flow rate and the pressure, and then we will perform well test analysis, okay, or pressure transient analysis to obtain the effective permeability. Okay, so from core, we can get absolute permeability, but from well testing, we can get effective permeability.